What's up everybody and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a hot one here in Finley, Ohio and the Ginger Yeti and I are hanging out in the beer shed getting ready to check out a new beer. Now, as it is a Wednesday, we're going to do a WTF Wednesday review. For those of you who may be new to the channel, WTF Wednesday is the one day a week when we showcase a beer we normally wouldn't. So sometimes that means we do stuff from the big boys like Bud Miller and Coors. Sometimes we try interesting offerings from microbreweries. And more recently, we've been trying to get them passport stamps up and check out some international sabor. Ooh, you like that? I like that. I like that, yeah. So the beer we have today is called Imperial. And this is from the Cerveceria Hondureña from San Pedro Sula, Honduras. And this is another one that the Yeti picked up on his travels. So where'd you get this one? I got this when I was in... Uh... Rotan Island, Honduras, and unfortunately my tans faded a little bit since the last video we did, so you might not notice how bronzed I was. He was like a bronzed god. He was very <laughs> muscular too, and it's all faded since he made it back to Ohio, strangely. So speaking of passport stamped, uh, I don't think, did I show you the picture of that passport stamp from Costa Maya? I think you sent me a picture of one that was really weird looking. So our, our first it didn't crew stop was Costa Maya. They're like, oh, go over here and get your passport stamp. I'm like, okay, cool. I'd like to get a, a Mexican passport stamp. Although I've been to like Cozumel before, I've never had my passport stamp. Mm. He had to go into the jewelry store, which should have been my first clue this wasn't real. You used to in there, 10 bucks. Didn't you have to pay anybody. They're just like, oh, here you go. They stamped the passport. It just says Costa Maya, and it literally says passport stamp. Does it, did it look like stamp. a government dude, or was it just some lady or guy working there? What did it look like? It was some dude in a suit at the jewelry store. So probably not now, a Now in Honduras... Dude. And in, in Rotan, Ro Honduras, it looked like a government official, but you still had to tip them to stamp your passport at the port. But they actually had, like, a stamp and then the, the, the date roller stamp. Okay. So they would roll the date and, and stamp it. So For the it looked, entry and export. I mean, so that's it looked more official. Yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Like, right. they stamp it with the dates you know when you came in. Right. So that if you're only supposed to be there 30 days or 90 days or whatever your visa is or whatever your, you know, your permit But it was say, free with tip. <laughs> Bruh. I'm, or, or free with, I'm sorry, free with donation is what it said. Oh, tip would, have been, tip would have been Don't Eat Yellow Snow, and I'll be about donation. business. Yeah. What's your favorite nation? Donation. What's your favorite city? Generosity. <laughs> there used it, to be a homeless guy we'd pay to watch our car at, on Delaware Ave in Philly. <laughs> he used to say that. But at any rate, I got this from Rotan Island, Honduras. This is a Honduran beer. Another Honduran beer. Okay. So it says Desde 1930, so since 1930. Authentica Cerveza, so real beer, as opposed to the fake one. And 1930, is that why it's this kind of double eagle symbol? I don't know. It almost looks like the Albanian double eagle, if you've ever seen that, right? Like the Albanian thing like that for my Albanian brothers out there. I was going to go a little north and west, but hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll stick with Albanian. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. Yeah. There are a couple other countries. I think the Poles have one similar, too, as opposed to those who should not be named. <laughs> <laughs> a one. So, ratings-wise, um, this is a bit of a mixed bag. Untapped 3.01, which is, 3 is a generic okay beer for me. Right. Uh, beer Advocate 2.64, overall score 68 poor, which was better than the other one we did from there was... 65 poor. So, 68's closer to passing, though. That's a high <laughs> D in some schools. Uh, Depending my, on the curve. My professorial mind kicks in here. A high, that's a high D. Um, what else do we got on here? Well, you've got that little... We got the ingredients list, which was the same exact thing as the last one. I think it was basically like water, malt, malt extract, hops, and some kind of sugar. Then we have a little metal on here, and it looks like it says, Dos Lupulos Gran Cuerpo y Sabor. So, as I said before, I know a little bit of Spanish. So this looks like it says, Dos Lupulos, so two hops, because it looks like there's a picture of two hops on there. Uh, Gran... It's usually better or bigger. Cuerpo is body, y sabor is flavor. So I'm guessing it's, you know, this might be wrong. It can't mean two hops. It means double hopped for body and flavor is my Irish Philadelphian translation of that Spanish. So well, I noticed I'm something else on here that maybe your what? amazing Spanish can translate that no. I didn't notice when we were looking at the can earlier. What's that? Below the barcode here, solo para mayores de edad. So is this only, only for... for uh, what did uh, I say it was earlier? Uh, Asia majority? Probably something like that. I don't know the word it that, but it must be. Because wasn't it on the website when you went to that? It's right, it right. It, 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 it was the that menu way. that popped up. You had to click C or no. Yeah. So I'm assuming that basically means it's only for people who are of the age to consume yeah, alcohol the age. Yeah. In, in the area you're in. Okay. 
So not much else on this. I mean, again, expectations are probably relatively low. Um, expecting this to be kind of generic pale lager, Euro lager type thing. The last one we had was honestly very sweet. So sweet that it wasn't drinkable. So let's see if this doesn't matter. Didn't you learn anything? I thought you had a giant protector to teach you how to pour a beer. <laughs> I was trying to give it that nice head so it looks good. Boy, I could make all kinds of jokes right now, but I ain't trying to get demonetized before I monetize. You're not all that much better. It's really not. I took my time. It still looks like shit, doesn't it? Yeah, you're the same as me, and I hard poured it, and it's you were trying to be careful. Look, it's literally the same exact. I don't think there was nothing. <laughs> Don, this is not on me, brother. I think he's sitting too close to me, and his bad pouring skills have rubbed off. I shook his can up when he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right. Color, same as the last one, yeah. basically. If I bring up the brewery chew. This is a little more yellow, though, I would say. Maybe like a three as opposed to a two or something. But that is pretty clear. Uh, carbonation, you still get those very fine bubbles, but it's not as many. No. And they're not as... In the last one, there was... It was a everywhere. Yeah. One of the most carbonated beers I've ever seen, and they were just going nuts. This, it's kind of like a more slow release. They look all right. Uh, the head also isn't doing the weird thing the last one did. No. You have multiple fingers of white head. You get in kind of like the fish eyes once again. The last one was kind of weird. Like it, it seemed to um, start to dissipate on the sides. On, I mean, on the yeah, sides, on the sides only, only, and not the middle. And usually, you see it reversed. And this one's just going just just yeah, down. Yeah, this one's like a pretty little normal. Even. All right, let's give it a sniff. Getting that adjuncty smell again. Yeah, but I think not, the, the last one, the nose wasn't really powerful, and this one is kind of similar. I mean, this is kind of generic beer smell. Yeah, adjunct de generic beer. Yeah, ain't nothing special. I mean, but it's not off putting or anything. No, so no. It's just, it's there. It's just beer. Let's go. Body is light like the last one. Again, expect that the flavor on this is much better. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say much better. It's not, it doesn't have that. The last one was. Cloyingly sweetness yes. to it. The last one was nasty sweet. Cloyingly sweet. You drink it, it was just stuck in your. Maybe you don't have jowls like me and my boxers do, but I have jowls and you just taste that damn sweetness yes. in there and it was not working. This, still sweet. Still an adjuncty sweetness, but not offensive. Body. Light, not too light. It's okay. It's a light beer, but it's okay. Um, flavors, you get a bit of, of malty sweetness. And that's, that's it. about it. I mean, th this is a time and place beer. Yeah. In this heat we have here, which isn't the same as the heat on the islands or down in the, in the Gulf of Mexico or, or in Central America, this does do well. Th this is much nicer than that Bahrain. Yeah. Um, because it doesn't have that cloying sweetness to it. Mm. Super hot. This would be a decent beer. I mean, that, that, it's light, a little bit of malt, a little bit of sweetness, nothing crazy. Yeah. I, I It says double hopped. You might get the slightest hops presence. But maybe that double hop is what's cutting out that sweetness. Now, I will say this, though. When you first drink it, I think you get, like, light sweetness, like, maybe like a light, bready, malty thing, and not much else. But then after you drink it, you kind of get, like, I don't know if it's just, like, in my lips or my mouth. Like, you get a, a, a tiny, faint hint of some sort of bitterness. Yeah, there's some lingering bitterness. Yeah. It's not... It's not big. It's subtle. Yeah. But it does counterbalance the sweetness enough that I think this is much more palatable than the last one. The last yes. one was borderline drain pour. If you hadn't bought it from Honduras, it'd be a drain pour, right? I mean, it's, it's not good. This is still not good. But it's a hell of a lot better than that. Right. And I think this is more... Would I drink this one again? I might. I, would, I might drink this one again. Like, if we were... If you're at a party or somewhere and somebody had a case of this, I would drink these. Like, I do a Tecate or something. It's not my favorite beer yes. or a Modelo. I don't like it, but if you had them, I would drink them. They're okay. That... What was it called? Barate? Barate or Barella? Barina. Barina. That one was... No, oh man. I couldn't do that. I, I'd be on the ice water. So. And I should probably put an asterisk on this. Yeah. Because I got these in Honduras and took them back to my room on the cruise ship. And they were fine there. Put them, put them in the fridge. They were fine. You didn't do anything strange to them? However, I, I did drug yours. But, Rufi Colada, here we go. When we got back to Texas, 
got to Houston Airport, had multiple plane delays, and I could see the luggage cart just sitting out there on the hot tarmac. And it was, I mean, up in the 90s plus. So however it was hot on the tarmac, these did sit in my suitcase on the hot tarmac for a couple hours. I will say I don't know this. if that would influence the no, beer at all. I will say no, and I'll tell you why. This stuff is made in Honduras, where it's hot as hell all the time. Fair right? enough. Do you think that they're sending this around in, in refrigerated trucks in Honduras? I'm not going to say what I think they do because your channel will get canceled. I think <laughs> they probably brew it, throw it on a truck, dude delivers it, and then when it's delivered, it probably sits in a back room somewhere until it's ready to go in the fridge. So as much as you know, a few hours on the tarmac makes me want to melt into the ground, I doubt that impacted the flavor. I will just say that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's someone out there like you're you're an idiot. They have brilliant refrigerated trucks, but and there is a born on or a Best Buy date, 9th of September, 24. So it is within date. Yeah, I, it is. I just spilled it on my hand. The stuff from the bottom. I set you up. So let's go with this million dollar <laughs> question. Would you drink this again? Time and place. So what are we so, going to do? The last one was a no. Like the last one's like absolutely that. no. Mm. I mean, the last one, I got it for a check in, and that's it. Never again. This one would be time and place. Mm. Back on Rotan Island, I'm sure if I ever make it back there again, I will definitely drink this. Fair enough. Here in Ohio, absolutely not. So thumbs down. So I would have to give it an ah because I'm, I'm time and place. I'm I'm on the ah, uh, and I wouldn't even go time and place. Like I mean, again, it's not something I'd seek out. Right. But there are lots of beers I wouldn't seek out. But they're still serviceable, and I would still drink them. And I think I'll put this in that category. The last one, so sweet. No, this one dialed back a bit. It's okay. Not great. It's it's ah. Uh, I could take it or leave it. I mean, I enjoyed this one on the beach. I'm not particularly enjoying it now, so that's why i got to say it's an ass. Well, it's because you got a sunstroke, and any kind of liquid is positive, I guess. Right? And if I mean, I'm back in that same scenario, I'm going to enjoy it again yeah. with my sunstroke. <laughs> so it's what it is. Two as for this beer out of us. Hopefully you don't think our video is ass, although it might be. It's okay. It's your prerogative to say it is. Uh, but if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, you know, Hit that like button down below. If you want to see more videos, I guess, please hit subscribe. And if you'd like to check out the Yeti's Adventures, go check out Ginger Yeti Road Beers. I have a permanent link to them down in the description. Ooh, excuse me. These beers have been very carbonated. Yes, they have. I usually don't burp a lot from beer, but these ones have been killing me. Um, Check his link out. Again, a lot of really cool videos, including the one from Roatan Island, some on the beach, and the Carnival Cruise Line that he went on. So if you want to learn about that, check his channel out. And, you know, as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had Imperial from the Cerveceria Hondureña? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to sound authentic. That's probably terrible. I'm going to get, I'm going to get banned get... From, from Central America now. But... If you've had this, let us know what you think about it. Or are there any other Honduran beers? Like I said, we did two of them. Both have been mm, not great. But these are macro-style beers. You know, I know he went to a smaller brewery there. And I'm sure there are other good breweries in Honduras or Central America. Let us know what we should be looking for, man. Hey, till next time. Cheers! Cheers. I had the wrong can there, huh?